Welcome to 5 Minutes of Inspiration with Lizette Humphrey. Hi, and welcome back again to your 5 Minutes of Inspiration. I'm your host, Lizette Humphrey, and I am thrilled to share with you an experience that quickly reminded me of how mighty my God is. Let me tell you, never believe for one second that when you love the work you do, the work you feel like you were born and created to do, the work that makes this world a better place, that it will be a walk in the park. That is so far from the truth. Believe in me that it will be a dog fight and a dog fight until the end. Some may ask why a dog fight. You know why? Your enemy, the devil in this instance, wants to deter you from the destiny and the calling that's on your life. The enemy wants to hinder your growth. The enemy wants to tarnish your progress. The enemy wants to dismiss all of your successes that were attained in your hard work and in doing good. Today I want to share a blurb of my personal testimony and how I had to dig deep from my core and call on the name of the Lord to help me out of this one. Guys, a spirit of condemnation fell upon me on last week and this spirit came with an agenda an agenda to get me off track before i move on the bible reminds us in romans 8 1 that there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus meaning once you are in christ your relationship with god is a judgment free zone. God does not look down upon you and count out your sins and keep records of your wrongdoings. God is a merciful God and a forgiving God. He doesn't see you in your sin. He sees you in the way he created you, perfect and beautiful in his sight. Some may ask, well, what is condemnation? Condemnation can be interpreted in several ways. I'll share two with you today. One, condemnation can be an expression of disapproval. Two, condemnation can be an act of punishment or wrongdoing. And the latter would be the ammunition that the enemy used as he whispered sweet nothings in my ear on last week. It was a tough week because the enemy reminded me of every wrong that I have done and how these wrongs have disqualified me from sharing the good news. How my wrongs have disqualified me for encouraging someone else. How my wrongs and my sins have disqualified me for even sharing a five minutes of inspiration. I mean, the enemy was going in, and I entertained him for too long. I mean, he was saying stuff like, no one listens to you. No one cares about you and what you got to say. You always have an encouraging word. Why you got to be so positive? You think people care about that stuff? People don't care about that stuff. And I allowed him to repeatedly remind me of his foolery and lost sight of who I was in Christ Jesus. I allowed those things that was being said to me to rest on my heart. And before I knew it, my spirit and countenance had done fail, and I began to waddle in a pool of sadness. All that I had set out to do on this particular day was a wash, because why? I was sad. My energy was low, and I began to believe the lies they tell. Quickly, I realized I was set up by the enemy to derail me off my path. How many of you battle like this in your mind and allow the enemy to come in and steal your joy right before your eyes? How many of you guys know that when you are being attacked by the enemy, that means greatness is right around the corner. Stay focused. Stay steadfast. 
on the path that you are in. Listen, in order to win these type of battles, you got to square your shoulders and talk back to that enemy. I had to remind the enemy with the word of God who God said I was and why I was created. I had to remind the enemy that he was a lying wonder and that he was stripped of all his power when Christ Jesus resurrected on the third day. I had to declare and profess the word of God to get me up out of that bed that the enemy has set up for me. These are the very things you have to do yourself to remind the enemy of who you are and that you are smarter than him and you will not get caught up in his foolery. I pray and hope that this five minutes of inspiration inspired you and that it reminded you that you are not alone in this battle and that once you declare the word of God, the enemy has to flee from you. Be blessed. I love you. Until next time. Thank you for tuning in to five minutes of inspiration with Lizette Humphrey, an underwriting partner of the Braveheart United channel at TonyEmmahel.com.